What's up, yuppies? So for today's vlog, I'll be talking about uh, Kazakh culture, traditions, beliefs, or superstitions. So for the past three years that I'm staying in Kazakhstan, uh, I want to talk about my experiences on um, being part of their culture. Uh, like, let's say, the first thing is like when you greet each other every morning people would come up and say hi привет, or like they they people or especially men from young to old they shake hands together like every day when they greet each other for the first time during that day or i don't know how many times they shake their hands when they see each other uh, at the hallway, inside the library, during meetings. So this is kind of a good sign of like friendship, of greeting each other, full smiles. But sometimes, you know, I, I saw people, they shake hands and they don't even talk to each other. They just shake hands and then walk away. So it's kind of different for me. Um, in Philippines, we just say hi. Sometimes if we're shy, we don't even talk. We don't even shake their hands. It's just like we pass them we just pass by <laughs> so that's it um the second thing i learned that uh if it's your birthday do not greet them in advance i, th I think they believe that this is a bad omen so i don't know what's the reason behind this so maybe you want to comment and share with me what is the reason why kazakh people do not want to be greeted in advance. For us Filipinos, it's totally fine <laughs> to greet them like happy birthday in advance. So it's not a problem for us. Um, during, speaking of birthdays, during birthday successful celebrations or whatever, people love saying toasts. Like everybody on the table will say something. Not once, not twice, even more than that. They keep on talking and talking, celebrating. So this is kind of, again, um, not really surprising, but uh, it's kind of different feeling that everybody wants to be part of this social culture, you know? Uh, yeah, so what else? Um, I've, when I was invited in one of the funerals, this is kind of first time for me as well where i was given a token of maybe token of appreciation it's like a towel given to me uh, when i before i left this gathering like during this funeral session um and we had first a uh, lunch where men and women are separated and then we just kind of uh, follow what if it's a Muslim, probably it's the Imam or the head of a, uh, of a, I don't know how it's called, but they kind of pray and then they kind of say something and then there. I mean, after that, uh, the, the family gave us some souvenir before we left the place. Also, when I was invited uh, during one of the occasions, family occasions, in a Kazakh home, um, when we were eating, it is a tradition that the head of the family or the most senior member of the family is the one cutting and offering some food for the special guests. So this is something again that uh, may be unique in Central Asia or in Kazakhstan. Yeah. What else? Um, when I came here, it's a Kazakh or Russian tradition as well that as a sign of respect to older people in a, in a formal gathering, you tend to say the second name of the person. The second name of the person means it is an honorific to the father of that person. Let's say, if my name is Joseph and my father is Melvin and there is some uh, member of the staff which is younger than me then uh, let's say i'm really old now and that one is really young then he would address me as joseph melvin which is like uh, kind of weird stuff for me because 
I only have one name, Joseph, but for them, they kind of use, uh, they kind of include the second name of the fathers of these senior members of the of the of the entity of the organization, like your colleague in the office. There and here, you know, they really put a lot of time and effort in celebrating International Women's Day. Way back in Philippines, uh, we know there's a Women's Day, but it's not a holiday. Here in Kazakhstan, uh, it's a holiday and it's like women somehow kind of expect to give them something during Women's Day. Um, and it's a special day for them. It's like a Valentine's Day, actually. <laughs> what else? Uh, uh, what else? So, during celebrations, you know, people here loves to dance and sing. Um, this is not a bad thing or a negative thing, but because I'm too shy to dance and sing in public, that's why maybe I, I don't have that confidence to do. But here, it doesn't matter. They just enjoy every piece of that moment. Whether your voice is not good, your, your body movements are not that well defined when you are dancing. But it doesn't matter. Just enjoy the moment and be with them. Who cares? Just dance and sing and celebrate. Um, did I forget anything? Uh, maybe there, there are also superstitious superstitious beliefs about love that I know but I'm, I'm not sure if I can be uh, confident enough to talk about it I'm I, I need to know more about that like let's say a single woman or a single lady would like to find love and there is something like they do to entice another guy to be their future partners something like that but Maybe I'll ask more about this because I'm not really sure how to talk about it. <laughs> what else? Did I miss something? Um, I think that's it for now. And if you know other superstitious beliefs in Kazakhstan that you would like to share with me so you can comment it down below. So that's it for today's vlog and have a good day. See you next time. Yeah, peace.